Okay, students. In this lecture, we are going to study about the very important compound. What is that important compound? KMnO4. Uh, KMnO4 is very important not only for the examination purpose, but also in the commercial way also. Okay, it is used in the organic. It is used in the inorganic, and most of the questions will be based upon the oxidizing properties of the KMnO4. okay so because of its practical importance uh, examiners also wanted to give the more term, more number of questions on the kmno4 okay so earlier we used to have more questions from the kmno4 oxidation properties only but now there is a shift in the preparation pro preparation sometimes uses sometimes converted almost you don't find any exam without the question from the somewhere it will be related like redox reaction it will be related in the physical or somewhere from the organic it is related so this topping uh, studying this topic is very beneficial both for the physical chemistry and organic chemistry not only in organic chemistry okay so let's start with the kmno4 right from the preparation method okay so kmno4 is prepared from the pyrolusite ore from where it is prepared pyrolusite ore okay so pyrolusite is actually commercial name its chemical name is mno2 its chemical name is what mno2 okay and basically for easy preparation for easy understanding i made this into the two steps okay actually kmno4 is obtained from the pyrolusite in two steps in the first step we get the potassium manganate we are going to convert the first step involves mno2 is converted to mno4 to minus this is called as a manganate okay mno2 is converted into manganate pyrolusite which is mno2 converted this is the first step and in the second step what we are going to do that manganate manganate will be mno4 to minus is converted into per manganate mno4 minus okay so during this reaction there is a change in oxidation number there is an increase in oxidation number of manganese from the plus 6 to plus 7 therefore we can say that it is a oxidation okay so for first step for converting the pyrolusite into the manganate potassium manganate we can adopt the three methods actually alkali okay basic medium is required and basic medium we can prefer or we can provide either by using potassium hydroxide or potassium carbonate potassium carbonate being a salt of strong uh, base and weak acid therefore we can treat this k2co3 also alkali and oxidizing agent main reagent can be oxygen rich potassium nitrate or direct oxygen also okay okay so that means we can convert the pyrolusite in the first step into the uh, potassium manganate by using the three types of reagent alkalized oxygen with koh oxygen with potassium potassium uh, carbonate or potassium nitrate with koh okay so what are those reaction that will study in the next step but at least you should have a overlook in how many steps we are going to make two steps now after this step we are going to have mno4 to minus with us now that mno4 to minus is now further oxidized to manganate further oxidized to manganate potassium manganate is converted to permanganate there are plenty of oxidizing proper uh, oxidizing agents available like chlorine chlorine will undergo reduction and oxidize the manganate to permanganate okay ozone co2 and electrolytic also last option okay so these are the reactions we are going to study now before proceeding further i think all uh, 
uh, idea you got what we are going to study. It is just a overlook of what we are going to study. Okay. Okay, in the first step, what we need to convert? We need to convert the pyrolusite ore. Okay. So, like this, if you study all together, then it will be easy. You need not to remember all reactant. Okay. So, MnO2, pyrolusite. And common product is what? Potassium manganate. Okay. K2 MnO4. You should be very, very concentrating worried about these two. If I don't write these two, that will be our final product. Okay. So MnO2 oxidized with oxygen or potassium nitrate, but both require which media? Alkali media, basic media. And both will give you what? Simple uh, oxidized product of potassium manganate. And in case of the KOH, only H2O will be liberated. In case of the K2CO3, CO2 will be liberated. Whereas in case of the KNO3, potassium nitrite, this is called as potassium nitrite. What we use is nitrate. What we use is nitrate. Okay, what we are getting is nitrite. Okay, this is the step one. Step one contains three, either of the three parts we can use. Okay. So you can choose either this one, you can choose as this one or this one. It is not everything you have to do. Okay. In the step one, you got three options to select to prepare the potassium manganate. Okay. Now let's see the step two. Okay. In the step two, what we have to do? We have to convert the potassium manganate. See here we have the potassium manganate. We have to convert into potassium permanganate. For that we can select the, we can select the, the, we can select the chlorine as a oxidizing agent. We can select the oxid ozone associated with water as a oxidizing agent. Even CO2 can also be used. If not directly, we can electrolyze. We need not to add anything in the reagent side. Okay. So K2MnO4 will be directly converted into KMnO4 during the electrolysis itself okay so simple this chlorine will take out the extra so when you convert the k to mno4 into kmno4 there will be some extra uh, potassium that extra potassium will be carried by the chlorine okay so two moles we have taken so two potassium will be there so that two potassium and two chlorine will be removed as a kcl here also same thing happens the two extra potassium will react with the OH of the water molecule or ozone, then that will come out as a potassium hydroxide. Same way here, it will be converted to K2CO3 and it will be coming out as usual like KOH. Okay. And if you don't want this, actually these are the steps in the commercial, okay, commercial preparation method. But if you want in small scale, don't were not worried about the expenditure, but worried about the quality. Then Mn2 plus can be directly converted into directly converted into potassium permanganate by using the S2O8 2 negative. Okay. What is the S2O8 uh, 2 negative? Peroxo, peroxo disulfuric acid. Okay. Or by disulfuric sulfate ion. If I write H2, then it will be acid. Okay. So peroxo disulfate ion. What it is going to be? Peroxo disulfate ion. H2O8, 2 negative plus 8H2O. Then it will form that KMnO4. Okay. This is the method, somewhat expenditure, but it will give you the quality product. This is the lab product. Is it understood? So finally, we have uh, methods. Three steps in uh, three methods in the step one and four methods in the steps uh, step two are one direct method in the laboratory. This is all about the preparation of KMnO4. Okay, students, now after studying the preparation of KMnO4, now very important thing is properties of KMnO4. Okay. 
So as an inorganic is a vast syllabus, I will be telling you where to remember and what to remember. Okay. So the first thing you will remember is violet colored. Okay. This is very, very important because in the examination, especially when it is combined with the qualitative analysis, they are asking about the color. Okay. Qualitative analysis. When this D and F lock is linked with qualitative analysis chapter, then this will be useful. So it is a violet colored crystalline solid. There, here violet color is very important. And second thing is, it is fairly soluble in water to give purple color. Again, this purple color solution. That means KMNO4 when it is in solid form. When it is in solid form, it is violet color. But when it is in solution, it gives a purple colored solution. That is the difference between the solid state color and solution state color. Now, next thing on heating 513 Kelvin. Okay. This is one of the main problem. Okay. So this is very, very dangerous sign. Okay. 513 Kelvin, if it is given, then only it will decompose to give oxygen. So what others will think and what you should think being a student of which chem, that difference I will tell you. Okay. KMNO4, when heated to 513 Kelvin, 513 Kelvin, it will convert it into K2MNO4. K2MNO4, I think all of you remembered. This is potassium permanganate. This is manganate. Okay. And liberates the pyrolusite ore back and oxygen. This shows that potassium permanganate is an oxygen rich compound. Okay. So once there was an integer type question, so again there are chances how many of the following are oxygen rich compound okay oxygen rich compound means which can evolve oxygen which can produce oxygen on thermal decomposition okay so just because of this people will say everything is there in ncrt ncrt is sufficient but it is not like that okay so in the ncrt how to study and what to neglect where you have to study that is very very important okay the way of study from the ncrt what was the question and how you should modify your answer that is what required okay so i also agree that everything will come from the ncrt but the angle of framing of question is very important which you will find only at which chem notes or which chem youtube channel or video lectures okay so here, this oxygen liberated shows that it is an oxygen-rich compound, okay? But when same KMNO4, when it is heated to red heat, red hot, okay? So you have to be very careful. Question is about 513 Kelvin or when it is red hot, okay? So when it is red hot, the KMNO4 produced, first condition it will be produced. But K2MNO4 further decomposes, further decomposes to give K2MNO3, okay? So don't, don't leave your answer up to here only if this word is mentioned. What is mentioned? If this red hot word is mentioned, product will be K2MNO3. If 513 Kelvin is mentioned, then it will be K2MNO4, okay? Okay, next one is reaction with alkali. Okay, so K, KMNO4, it is just reverse of the preparation method only. KMNO4, when treated with alkali like KOH, it will convert back to the potassium manganate and liberate oxygen. Okay, and but very, very important topic we are going to start. What is that? Oxidizing power. Okay. KMNO4 is an excellent oxidizing agent. KMNO4 is what? Excellent oxidizing agent. Powerful oxidizing agent. Okay. This is what you have to remember. Okay. This is where you will remember most important thing. What is that? Most important thing is powerful oxidizing agent. Okay. 
so that powerful oxidizing agent not only powerful oxidizing agent it is also best oxidizing agent in all three media or there in the all the three media it is powerful oxidizing agent okay it can act as a oxidizing agent in it can act as a oxidizing agent in acidic medium basic medium and neutral medium and as per our requirement it can liberate number of electron also so according to our requirement we can change the number of electrons released by it if we carry out the oxidation of the kmno oxidation with kmno4 in presence of acidic medium in presence of acidic medium it will be converted to mn+2 okay what are the acid we can use best acid we can use is sulfuric acid only okay already i have explained in the one of the questions question session uh, that is if you are using the sulfuric acid that is the best hcl if you are using that will utilize the sum of the kmno4 for its own oxidation and if you are using nitric acid then some of the nitric acid also will oxidize the reactant so both are problematic okay one is over reacting and another is under reacting okay hcl is under reacting okay it is only to uh, provide the h plus but it is doing unnecessary crime by getting oxidized by the some of the kmno4 okay so which is not supposed to be its purpose is to provide h plus but it is doing some unnecessary activities asking kmno4 to oxidize chlorine also okay and hno3 is over smart okay actually before kmno4 our own kmno4 wants to oxidize before that it will go and oxidize it will look nice no our aim is to get it oxidized by the kmno4 so over smartness is also not required under smartness also not required so the best is acid we use is sulfuric acid then what you will get we will get as a mnso4 okay what you will get mnso4 so that is the therefore here before the reaction before the reaction our manganese oxidation number our manganese oxidation number was plus 7 okay so after the reaction the manganese oxidation number changed from Plus seven to plus two. Okay, seven minus two. That is equivalent factor will be five. So equivalent mass will be molecular mass divided by five. Okay. Now let us see about the neutral. In the neutral, this will be converted into. It will be converted into MnO two. MnO two is already very famous pyrolusite ore from where we can prepare the. manganese okay now we should concentrate on the oxidation number it is changing to plus 4 so change in oxidation number will be 7 minus 4 therefore equivalent factor will be 3 then equivalent mass will be mm by 3 okay now in alkaline medium in alkaline medium it will be converted into mno4 only but it will be two negative it will be converted into mno4 two negative only okay so it will be converted mno4 two negative there is a change in oxidation number what is the change in oxidation number earlier it was plus 7 now it is plus 6 so oxidation number is changing from 7 minus 6 that is only 1 therefore mm by 1 okay there was a uh, question in the k set okay Uh, in which medium in which medium see logically questions nowadays they are asking in which medium potassium permanganate molecular mass is equal to equivalent mass so that time what should be the answer yes answer must be alkali medium okay basic medium as the equivalent factor is how much one so molecular mass is equal to equivalent mass okay so note down this and then we will see some very very important interesting orders okay so that is increasing order decreasing order like that 
they may ask so that i will give you ready made tricky and shortcuts okay so let's go for that orders okay so if you, if the question is about increasing order of okay increasing order of equivalent factor increasing order of equivalent factor of kmno4 kmno4 in various medium okay here various medium means it does not mean that it is hindi medium english medium here medium means which solvent it is used acidic solvent is used basic solvent is used or neutral is used okay so high increasing order of equivalent factor highest factor you will find in the acidic then it will be less than in the neutral less in the new least factor will be in the basic basic sometimes it is called as a alkali also so don't get confused okay alkali medium and basic medium are same and some nowadays neutral also contain called as a weakly okay what is this weakly not one week two week like that it is weak w e a k l y weakly alkaline okay weakly alkaline also considered as a neutral medium so alkali are basic is same thing weakly alkaline and neutral are same thing acidic is same thing okay so increasing order of equivalent factor here equivalent factor is 5 here equivalent factor is 4 and here equivalent factor is 1 okay so this is increasing order of equivalent factor okay so but don't write the same answer when question is about the increasing order of question is about the increasing order of equivalent weight okay increasing order of equivalent equivalent weight okay equivalent weight of kmno4 kmno4 in various medium same thing see here factor is more equivalent weight that factor is going to be in the denominator actually equivalent weight will depend on the equivalent factor but uh, molecular weight will be same or ionic weight will be same only thing changing will be equivalent factor okay higher the equivalent factor higher will be the denominator lower will be the total value okay so equivalent weight will be lowest in the increasing order we have to write so highest will be of basic where it is equal to molecular mass okay second highest will be of the neutral and third highest will be our lowest will be of acidic okay sorry i forgot to mention one thing kmno4 is a oxidizing agent due to there was a question and repeated many times in various examination okay your answer should be nascent oxygen due to what nascent oxygen okay due to nascent oxygen okay i made a mistake here it is equivalent factor in neutral equivalent factor in neutral will be 3 at actually it is final oxidation state is 4 but equivalent factor will be 3 okay so this is about the increasing order and highest powerful oxidizing agent in acidic medium and less powerful oxidizing agent in basic medium because it loses five electron in acidic medium it loses only one electron in basic medium okay that order may also ask okay this is about the oxidizing power oxidizing nature what you have to remember it is an excellent powerful oxidizing agent in the all the three medium second thing its oxidizing nature is due to nascent oxygen okay so you may think that every time it will be same no like bleaching powder is due to something else okay what is that due to nascent chlorine bleaching powder is a oxidizing agent okay so reason may change but here kmno4 
oxidizing nature is due to basic nascent oxygen is that clear to all of you okay now we are as uh, all of you are aware there are plenty of reactions in the kmno4 okay because of its versatility it can act as oxidizing agent in the acidic medium in the basic medium in the neutral medium as it is a widely used powerful oxidizing agent in organic inorganic and in the redox reactions we will study about it it is very important we cannot neglect okay but the problem is that number of reactions are very very high so here are the some tricks to remember here are the some tricks to remember the oxidizing properties oxidizing properties of oxidizing properties of what kmno4 okay so oxidizing properties of kmno4 we have some we have some tricks okay so mainly it is going to act as a oxidizing agent in neutral oxidizing agent in alkaline and oxidizing agent in acidic so remember either of the three reactions okay so either you can use first to three reactions of each or second three reactions of each that depends upon the question if the question is having the spectator ions version which version spectator ion version spectator ion version means they are interested about they are interested about only the substance which is undergoing oxidation or reduction like here potassium is doing nothing before reaction also k plus after reaction also k plus so that is called as a spectator ion they will come and watch and they will go so there is no loss there is no gain okay like uh, uh, spectator if you go to the cricket match to watch it then you will be a spectator okay if you participate in a match if you are a player then either you will win or you will lose same way here manganese is losing electron and uh, other part will gain electron okay so gaining losing will be there only those who participate only just to watch and enjoy that is done by the spectator ions okay so this is the after removal of spectator ions active ions only written here okay and this is complete molecular equation so as i told you in neutral solution in neutral solution uh, what is the equivalent factor 3 okay you can you can make it as a here also see here 3 but 3 into 2 it should be 6 or not but here see for two moles it is six oxygen six equivalents therefore for one mole it will be three only okay for one mole equivalent factor will be three actually for each oxygen equivalent factor will be changing by two so three oxygen should change by the six that is correct but it is been affected by the two moles that's why this is three okay so simply neutral means what should be the reactant water okay so everything is logical if you remember logically then there are no chances of forgetting no chances of making mistake so kmno4 in neutral medium loses 3 moles of oxygen and what it is converted into mno2 so what this potassium will become as koh okay this is the molecular version and whatever this oxygen will be there you will add it to the other reactant suppose a react with kmno4 in neutral medium then what will read a plus k2 and kmno4 plus h2o so these two product will be common this oxygen will be added up to the a this oxygen will be what added up to the a is it understood and so suppose if you are writing in the ionic form if you are writing in the ionic form then like potassium is there a so koh okay where it will result in the same product if it is something sodium then sodium hydroxide and some potassium of here also will koh okay here suppose 2 kmno4 so that 2 koh will be formed and that remaining 2 potassium 2 oh will be associated with ion um, uh, we are getting from the oxidation okay so you can remember either this this or this 
or you can remember either this this or this both are same both are same again and i am again i'm stressing here one mole three electrons two mole three oxygens same way alkaline alkaline means basic so base we are using and it will be converted to k2mno4 potassium manganese and it will liberate only one nascent oxygen so two moles one nascent oxygen so equivalent factor will be one therefore one electron will be liberated okay one electron will be accepted by the potassium manganate to form the potassium permanganate okay then 2 kmno4 plus 3 h2so4 like acidic medium if you are using already known fact mn will be plus 2 that is mnso4 will be there and being the powerful oxidizing agent in acidic medium it will liberate highest number of nascent oxygen from 2 moles of k2mno4 so that means each mole of kmno4 sorry 2 moles of kmno4 so each mole of kmno4 is liberating one 2 uh, and half mole of oxygen so that means five electrons so this is five electrons so this is very very important you need not to remember every time all reactions okay so i think all of you will remember this equation and we we'll let us use them so suppose is our trick is working or not okay let us see how you will utilize those tricks okay so let us take uh, mkmno4 plus h2s plus h2so4 okay so which of which medium we are using now acidic medium in acidic medium 5 moles of oxygen will be liberated 5 moles of oxygen will be liberated okay so that 5 moles will be required by what this one okay so out of this which will take that ox hydrogen will take that so this is going to liberate 5 h2o that balancing part already i have given extra product only i am writing okay so a 5 h2o plus sulfur will be there okay so that means we need to for balancing we need to write 5 here and it is going to be 5 moles of s and other common product will be k and so4 it will be k to so4 okay and mn and so4 it is going to be mn so4 so like that this is a product so without remembering anything you can identify the product if you follow those six tricks uh, six either three or three any of the three okay next same kmno4 and h2so4 so potassium will be converted to k2so4 manganese will be converted to mnso4 that remaining oxygens extra oxygens will be given to the so3 to form na2so4 so it will be na2so4 so these are the product okay okay this 5 moles of oxygen is because of the sulfuric acid acidic medium and in acidic medium we will take for balancing already i told you 2 kmno4 we will be using okay that balancing part you can do it afterwards also mainly you should be able to identify the product these are the new product these are every time you will find the product like here k same way 2 kmno4 we will be using okay and h2so4 so potassium will in always be converted to k2so4 mn will be always converted to mnso4 okay and rest this product how it is converted like h2s is converted to h2o plus s na2so3 will be converted to that extra nascent oxygen will go to so3 to convert it and as a sulfate okay now in the neutral medium this is now neutral medium okay in neutral medium what we should get we should get pyrolusite ore okay so that will be the pyrolusite ore and this potassium and this sulfate will be k2so4 okay accordingly you can balance 
accordingly you can balance the main product you should be able to remember this okay so because of this sulfate this potassium both will be combined together to form k2so4 and uh, this mno4 and this mn will be converted to 2 mno2 okay okay good question what happens to this hydrogen this hydrogen also will react with the sulfuric uh, so4 to form h2so4 okay so this is how the product you can determine by using those tricks now let's see the next very important question okay in organic uh, you will utilize this kmno4 as a oxidizing agent okay so in the organic it is a specialist reagent to form vicinal diols to form what vicinal vic vicinal diols okay vicinal means adjacent di means to oh means o so it is a specialist reagent wherever pi bond is there okay wherever pi bond is there in that place this is going to introduce oh what it is going to do introduce oh how it is possible this kmno4 is a powerful oxidizing agent due to presence of nascent oxygen so we can see already one oxygen is here one oxygen is here so both oxygen and both hydrogen okay so ch2oh single bond ch2oh okay this is called as what ethylene glycol the gly means what two okay so the product will be ethylene glycol okay this happens kmno4 only in alkaline medium where it is alkaline medium okay glycol ethylene glycol so gly means two ol means alcohol two moles of alcohol on adjacent carbon atom next is the structures potassium manganate and potassium permanganate okay so first let us see about the mno4 negative okay so in the plus 7 oxidation number it can form seven bonds because seven unpaired electrons are there so four oxygens okay so this trick already i told you in the chemical bond you can see the trick series of which chem okay so mno4 minus so this will be minus so whichever oxygen is having minus that will be forming only one bond and remaining all oxygen will be forming the two bonds will be forming how many bonds two bonds this is the mno4 minus so when you join them there will be a regular regular what tetrahedron there will be regular tetrahedron okay so this is a regular tetrahedron and if you remember this uh, as a bonus you can draw the structure of mno4 two negative also this is manganate and i wanted to mention here this is of purple color what color purple color manganate ion okay and this is going to be green color this is going to be what green color mno4 two negative same structure only number of pi bond will be different two negative are there so two oxygen will be of the negative and remaining all will be double bond okay so when i join them when i join them let me join with some beautiful color okay so this is the tetrahedral structure again tetrahedral structure okay so once there was a question in kvpy i think or in uh, some research based okay so they are asking why it is purple and green color why they have different color okay actually this color is due to charge transfer what is this the color is due to charge transfer per manganate and permanganate our color is due to charge transfer okay so here number of charge transfers are different 
here what happens this lone pair will migrate here this will come here okay oxygen to metal metal to oxygen so that number of transfer number of charge transfer are different here 3 pi bond 1 sigma bond here 2 pi bond 2 sigma bond so due to difference in number of charge transfers they are differing in color okay because number of charge transfer changes then energy required also will be changes therefore the color also will be changed because e is equal to what formula hc upon lambda okay so this is the structure of permanganate and manganate starting is a permanganate second one is a manganate structure okay so why the kmno4 is colored why k2no4 colored that you should be able to answer them okay okay next some uses are there it is used as an oxidizing agent in the volumetric analysis of ferrous salt fe plus 2 oxalate c2o4 2 minus iodide i2 okay h2o2 how much of them are quantity to estimate their quantity they are used okay then as a disinfectant and germicide germs to kill the germs that nascent oxygen will be used specially it found used in the purification of water to kill the germs okay next in the organic just now we have studied to convert into alcohol alkaline kmno4 what is base reagent alkaline kmno4 alkaline kmno4 is base reagent and it is also bleaching agent okay so this is all about the all about the kmno4 nothing is left in depth study with short text we have completed hope it will help you in your scoring better marks